That cell has so much fat on her. She's definitely got diabetes. Not really. How's that possible? Her human has obesity. People can be obese and metabolically healthy. She actually has high insulin sensitivity and low inflammation. Really? And ironically, people can be at normal body weight but with a poor metabolic profile and high insulin resistance. How can that be? Well, it depends on where your fat is stored. People who are obese but have most of their fat in hips and thighs tend to be better off. Hmm, that's new. What's the other kind? Then there are those who store a lot of their fat in the abdominal region, which is visceral fat that is highly inflammatory and increases the risk of diabetes. And unfortunately, Asian and African ethnicities are more at risk due to genetics. What's the solution then? Body recomposition through diet and exercise. And the best part is any exercise that challenges you will help you get there. Aerobics and strength training independently help improve insulin sensitivity and combining them is even better. And yogic mind-body exercises are great for stress management, especially for those with past trauma or adverse childhood events because they are linked to excess belly fat. So based on your needs and preferences, pick any exercise that you will actually do. You get to choose. Pick one thing, mix different things, do what you like. Give it a try.